Hello friends and welcome to the video tutorial of Progressive Web Application for Magenta 2. Now Progressive Web Application uses web compatibilities and provides an application experience to the user. It develops from a browser tab and makes pages more immersive with a low friction user experience. The Progressive Web Application is lightning fast as compared to the website and supports push notifications as well. Now, according to the Google developers, Flipkart, India's largest e-commerce site, decided to combine their web presence and native app into a progressive web application, that is PWA, that has resulted in a 70% increase in conversation, sorry, conversions. So, you can also check the details which we have provided in this link. So, you can see this link. Now, with the use of this feature, the website work faster on a slow network connection. So due to the faster performance, the user engagement increases on the website and it results in high conversion rate. Now please note, currently this module only supports Android Chrome and Opera browser. So now, why is the need of PWA? So PWA is recommended because it is more immersive and lightning fast than a website or a native application. PWA also is user friendly compared to the website and supports push notification which I have explained above. The best part of PWA is that it user can use many of the features without an internet connection and once the mobile is connected to the internet the data get synced in a short you can say that you are providing a platform to the customer which is user friendly and faster then it will definitely increase the engagement of the user and your sales and revenue will increase now coming to the installation of this module once you have downloaded the module from a store you will be getting it in a zip format now unzip it and then you will be getting the module folder Click on the module folder, you will be getting the SRC folder. Click on the SRC folder, you will be getting the app folder. Now you have to move the app folder into your Magento 2 drive directory. And then you can proceed with the configuration of the module. So after moving the app folder into your Magento 2 root directory, you also have to run the commands. So for the commands and the better understanding about the installation you can also refer to the user guide so now let's come to the admin part and now this is my admin panel so you have to go to store and then you have to go to configuration now in the store you will be getting this web cool tab just click on it and then you will be getting Pro progressive web application menu so click on this progressive web application menu and then a new page will open so this is the setting for pwa so from here you can enable or disable the status you can set the application name you can set the application short name so here you will enter the sender id and server key and then from here you can browse and upload the application icon and from from here you can select your splash background color so now you can see I can select any of the color as per my requirement I have selected this color and after that I will save this configuration and now you can see you have saved the configuration you will get this message now you will go to PWA menu so click here and then you will see manage PWA notification now this is for the push notification so from here the admin can manage the push notification now this is the grid so from here you can see the already added push notification you can see the title the body the target URL the status when it was created when it was modified the action and when you want to send the push notification to your subscriber you can just click on the send link so you can also select this boxes and from here you can delete you can enable or you can disable them if you will click here then you can edit this particular push notification message so now you can see you can see the status you can see the title the body 
the target URL and the icon. So from here you can change any of this field and then you can save the notification message. And from this button you can add new push notification message. So from here you can set the status as enable or disable. You can enter the title, you can enter the body, you can enter the target URL and from here you can upload the icon and then from here you can save. So this is all about the admin part of this module. Now let's move to the customer part in the next video.